Hi, today uh, we're going over some of the mock tow boots that I have uh, had the opportunity to acquire in the last uh, few years. I only acquired these boots because I wanted to check out the mock toe style and see if I could develop the taste for it. I ended up with several pairs and I thought to make this video uh, sharing my thoughts on the mock toe style. Understanding mock toe as the footwear that has all this tissue here on top of the toe box. Also, understanding uh, mock toe is just short for moccasin toe. And a moccasin being the ancient uh, style of footwear that Native Americans uh, used to do back in the days and where they will form like a bowl out of leather and then stitch another piece of leather in the top to cover their toe and use that for the everyday wear. The style became very popular back in 1960s when uh, Red Wing came out with a line of boots for farming. And uh, from then the, the style went very, very popular. The mock toe can be constructed in three different ways. One is the way that uh, they stitch these two pieces of leather together. Uh, another way is where the stitching is just aesthetical and uh, they put some kind of material in there to make the protection out of the uh, bamp of the, of the boot. And uh, the, other, the other style is mostly for look only like this one's here. So I have here the first pair that I have, these are Iris Setted by the Red Wing. Uh, very, very popular. These ones are hunting boots. They are non structured They are insulated, making it perfect for uh, fall season, spring season when it's still a little bit cold. Wouldn't be wearing this in the summertime since the, the interior is insulated. So that makes the boot really, really hot on the summer day. Uh, this type of leather, the color is the, probably the most common uh, colored leather for the, the mock toe style of boots. The second pair I get here, these ones are by Thorwood. Uh, I decided to go in the black, the black color of leather just to be different. Most of my coworkers and other boots that I, other User that I've seen wearing uh, the Thorwood boots, they are also in tan color. I really like the color tan, and I'm hoping to get a pair of those uh, those boots too once it's time to replace these ones here. Uh, uh, these ones are 100% working boot. Most of uh, concrete worker uh, use this style of boot. This one here, it met all the standards for uh, safety. They have the steel toe. They are non-insulated. Actually, they are not even lining inside. It's just uh, the leather. And uh, very, very comfortable. Wearing these boots, actually, it feels more like tennis shoes. So it's like wearing tennis shoes at the work site and still protecting your toe here. Very, very good pair of boots. Uh, these are the boots I actually will recommend when somebody asks me, hey, what kind of boots should I get? And I said, uh, go with the Thorwood. They're very comfortable. Soles, kind of slippery, so I wouldn't recommend to wear them in the winter time or when it's been raining outside, or I wouldn't recommend to wear them in a, a hardwood floor. Very, very slippery, but very comfortable if you're just uh, working outside and concrete and dirt and gravel. These boots are perfect for that. And uh, my other uh, pair of boots that I have, the Mokto, is the, this brass boot by Grandstone. <laughs> These ones are a little bit dressier than the regular uh, construction style of boots, working boots. These ones are a little bit casual, more casual, but still can uh, take the, the beating of uh, construction side. I wouldn't take these boots to work though. Uh, these boots are uh, very, very comfortable. The leather by Horwin. This one is the XS10 leather. 
very supple, very comfortable. The sole has a lot more grip than the Thorowoods or Red Winds, and also it's more durable. This here, this sole uh, can uh, be very good on winter time and also to take it for hiking outdoor. Uh, brass boots actually by the Grand Stone, they come on in different colors, different leathers, uh, different finishing, and um, they all very, very good, very roomy. What they suggest when uh, buying a brass boot is to size down a full size from your Branox device, and uh, that usually does the trick. This one here, I usually went, I actually went one size, a full size down, and it works really good for me. I've been enjoying this one's in the Patina Thunderdome, which is about to end pretty soon. And um, I have uh, been able to put some, some Patina on it. And uh, lastly, the last uh, pair of boots that I have acquired is uh, this pair of Ottawa boots. This one has the split toe, so in addition of the mock toe stitching here. It has the split toe. This one actually are also known as the Norwegian split toe boots. These ones are by Grandstone, fully lined boot. Uh, very casual. This one's actually, I don't think they even work on with the uh, uh, outdoor seat uh, outfit. This one's more casual a little bit dressier. The leather is the kudu leather that uh, uh, is kind of trendy right now. And, um, and uh, it has the 360 wood gear weld. Uh, this one has the, uh, not storm weld, but uh, it's just like split reverse uh, welds, what they call it. And the sole, it doesn't have much use. I, Barely, barely been wearing this a few times. Uh, the sole here is like a dynamite-like style of sole. Very comfortable, very good for um, casual Fridays at the office. Uh, so this here is the, the collection that I have so far for uh, 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 Mokto boots. There are still some more boots out there that I would like to try and um, I'm just starting so hopefully Later on, when it's time to replace these ones, I get my hands on those other ones. In the meantime, my name is Ben. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully you find this video entertaining or informative. If you did that, uh, please consider to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and come back here for more videos next week. Until I'll talk to you again, please stay well and remember to wear your boots. Bye.